Hey guys, so I thought it was about time I did an updated natural and organic makeup collection for you. So today I'm going to be showing you all my holy grail products, the products I use on a regular basis, and a few new things that I recently got as well. Everything I'm going to show you is free from toxic ingredients, cruelty free, and awesome, if I do say so myself. There are so many amazing natural and organic makeup brands out there, and since our skin absorbs a lot of what we put on it, I only want to be putting on the highest quality ingredients, ingredients that I know are safe for my skin. And also, as a lot of you guys know, I used to suffer from really, really bad cystic acne all over my face, so I don't want to be putting anything that could break me out, and I just really want to take care of my skin and not put anything on it that could potentially damage it or damage it further down the line in the future or, you know, cause problems to my health. So I'm really excited to share my collection with you and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Holy Grail Mascara and that is my Red Apple Lipstick The Lash Project Mascara. I am deeply in love with this mascara. It's a drier formula, which I really prefer. It doesn't clump or flake on me. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It feels very lightweight on my eyelashes, and it's super easy to remove at the end of the day, which I really appreciate because I don't wanna be pulling out my eyelashes and I don't wanna be left with raccoon eyes. Another great natural mascara option would be the Dr. Hoshka Volume Mascara. That used to be my favorite natural mascara, but now, hands down, the Red Apple Lipstick is my favorite. Now moving on, Red Apple Lipstick also makes an awesome eyeliner pencil. They are so smooth, they go on like butter and have great pigmentation. Here I have the shade Coco, which is a beautiful brown. I usually would wear black, but I lost my black pencil and I haven't had the chance to replace it because to be honest, I don't really wear eyeliner too much these days. Now next up, I have the Long Last Brows by 100% Pure. This is basically a natural version of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I love a good brow and I find it so hard to find any natural brow products. So I just started using this product, but I can already tell it's going to become my holy grail eyebrow filler in her. It has a really nice amount of pigment, it has amazing staying power, and the ingredients are really great. It contains castor oil and coconut oil, which is really good for promoting brow hair growth. I actually put castor oil on my brows every single night to help them grow, and I have the shade soft brown, but I really wish I would have gotten taupe because I find this to be a bit too warm on me, and my brow and hair color is more on the ashy side. Now I have two concealers to show you. The first one is by Alima Pure and it's their cream concealer. I'm quite happy with this concealer. It comes in a nice little compact with a mirror. It has a creamy texture and offers medium to full coverage. You can apply with your fingers or a brush for a full coverage look, or you can apply with a damp beauty blender for a more natural look. It comes in many different shades. I use the shade Echo, which is for light to medium skin tones with a warm to neutral undertone, and you can get refills for the concealer so you can just keep using the same compact and save some money. And then another concealer I have is the Second Skin Concealer by 100% Pure. This is a liquid concealer made with olive squalene and fruit pigments. It gives me a light to medium coverage. I do find it can cling to dead skin though, so I really recommend exfoliating well before using. I use the shade Creme, which is a shade or two lighter than my actual skin tone, so it's perfect for brightening up the under eye area. Now moving on to foundation, I try not to use foundation anymore because I want my skin to just breathe all the time, but for filming, photos, and special occasions, I will use Alima Pure's Satin Matte Loose Mineral Powder Foundation. This foundation saved me for many years while I was dealing with cystic acne and really bad hyperpigmentation all over my face. It doesn't break me out and you can build it up to be extremely full coverage. I'm allergic to bismuth oxychloride, which is in a lot of mineral foundations, but this mineral foundation doesn't have it in it. It's really pure. They offer so many different skin tones and undertones so everyone can find their perfect match. I use beige 2 for most of the year and then beige 3 in the summer. I did try their pressed mineral foundation, but I didn't really like that one. Their loose powder is way better. 
And then a really good option for a natural liquid foundation is the Sappho Organics Liquid Foundation. This offers light to medium coverage, it looks extremely natural on the skin, and it has wonderful ingredients. I've tried a few natural liquid foundations and so far this is the only one I've liked. The downside is it is quite pricey, but I mean you get what you pay for and it sometimes goes on sale. So now my favorite lip liners are from Red Apple Lipstick. They're so buttery smooth and they come in the most gorgeous colors. But out of all their lip liners, my holy grail lip liner is the Red Apple Lipstick Lip Liner in Dusty Rose. This is the holiest of my holy grail products. I actually use this like a lipstick. I just line my lips and then fill it all in. It's nice and matte, it stays all day and never transfers to my teeth like a lipstick does. So on most days I try not to wear makeup, but I almost always use this every day. Now if you're looking for a good natural lipstick brand, look no further because Red Apple Lipstick makes the best lipsticks. I pretty much collect their lipsticks. They have endless amounts of colors and finishes to choose from. They're made from high quality ingredients. And now come to think about it, every holy grail product I have is from Red Apple Lipstick. I absolutely love this brand. And I even use these lipsticks as a cream blush. So sometimes if I'm traveling, I won't even bring a blush. I'll just bring a lipstick color that I like. And then 100% Pure recently came out with a beautiful line of matte lipsticks, and matte lipsticks are my favorite finish for lipsticks. They have gorgeous colors to choose from, they're very bold, and they're colored using only fruit pigments, just like the rest of the 100% Pure products. And my three favorite lipsticks from them are the shades Current, which is a beautiful berry red, perfect for the holiday season, Prickly Pear, which is a vibrant coral pink, such a happy looking color, I think it would be perfect for summertime. And then finally Hyacinthus, which is a bold purple color. I wouldn't wear this every day, but I love a dark purple lipstick. Next up, we have my Living Libations Made in Fern Blushing Balm. If you love truly natural and organic makeup, you will love this one. It's a lip and cheek stain and the ingredients are so nourishing. And it literally makes you blush because it contains warming essential oils and botanicals to increase circulation and give your skin that flush. I usually apply this on my no makeup days just to give me a little hint of color. Next up, I have one of my favorite lip and cheek stains, and this is the Lip and Cheek Shine by Delicioso Skincare. I have the shade Terra, but all the colors look so gorgeous. They're completely natural, they have great staying power, and a little goes a long, 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 long way. This product will last you for a lifetime, you just need the teeniest amount to give you a beautiful natural looking flush. I will admit a few times I have gone a bit overboard and applied a little bit too much. Now my next piece of makeup is a lip and cheek stain by the brand Mother Nature in the shade Beat. Okay, I'm kind of kidding, but not really because if you want the most natural cheek and lip stain out there, a plain old beat will do the trick. All you need to do is get a beat, cut off a little piece, and rub it on your cheeks and your lips, and it gives you the most beautiful, natural looking flush. There is something so fun about using food for your makeup and your skincare. Next up, I have a loose mineral blush and a lip gloss from Modern Minerals. This is their Beauty by Britney Bohemian collection. So this is a collaboration between Modern Minerals and Britney Faith, who is so sweet and incredibly gorgeous. I cannot get over her beauty. The blush is called Sweet Thing, but don't be frightened by how bold it looks. You can make it look extremely natural. You just need the teeniest bit. So this blush will literally last you forever. And then there's the Bee of Love lip gloss. I don't wear lip gloss, but if you're looking for a good natural option, you might want to give this one a try. It just gives your lips a sheer tint of that beautiful pink, and it feels very hydrating on the lips. And for highlighter, I really like the Alima Pure Loose Mineral Highlighter in Lumina. And I will also mention that my favorite bronzer is also from Alima Pure, and it's in the shade Mauna Loa. However, I don't have a clip to show you because I lost it. 
And then I have a few palettes to share with you. I recently got sent these two palettes here from 100% Pure. They come with a blush, a highlighter, and a couple of eyeshadows. I haven't really had a good chance to use them yet, but they look really pretty and I'm excited to play around with them. And then I have a really awesome eyeshadow palette from Delicioso Skincare, and it's their Vanilla Buttercream Pressed Eyeshadow Palette. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, they go on so smooth, and the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. It's the perfect neutral palette. I don't actually wear eyeshadow that often, but this palette really impressed me. And now I thought I would add in a few other products I like to use in my makeup routine. I like to always keep some rice paper blotting sheets in my bag to mattify my face if my face starts getting oily when I'm wearing makeup. And they're really great because you don't have to add any extra powder to your face. And then I'm going to show you my rose water because rose water can actually be used as a setting spray for your makeup. And then finally, I thought I would show you my Henne Organics Lip Balm because I think it's really important to have moisturized lips, especially if you're gonna be wearing lipstick. It just makes the lipstick look so much better. And I find this lip balm to be super nourishing. I love the ingredients and I always apply it before I start my makeup routine so then it can soak in and do its thing as I'm doing my makeup. And Bambi's got the most beautiful natural makeup. He's got black eyeliner on his eyes to define his beautiful almond-shaped eyes. And then he has black lipstick on his lips. And then he also wears black nail polish on his... Oh, okay. Bye, Bambi. So that is my natural and organic makeup collection. I hope you guys love the products as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!